Hey folks, Kerry here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a eclipse viewer for the solar eclipse. Uh, usually you do this with a shoe box. I didn't have a shoe box that I could cut up, so I found this here. Uh, you can actually get these free at the post office. Uh, you pay for them uh, when you ship it. So until then, it's free. But I don't know if you want to mail something after you cut a hole in it, because you are going to have to cut two holes in it. As you can see, there's one hole here. That's where you're going to put your eye. And then there's another hole here. Let me show you on the inside. Just spin it around. So there's the, the hole that you're going to look through with your eye. And then there's another hole here. This is the one that the sun is going to shine through. So there's a piece of aluminum foil on there. So I've taped the aluminum foil on there. You want to get the aluminum foil nice and flat. You don't want the wrinkly aluminum foil. So I, I pull it tight whenever I put the tape on there. And um, then what you're going to do is you're going to poke a nice clean hole with it uh, into it with a needle. I didn't have a needle, so I used a tack. But you need a nice clean round hole. So make sure that the aluminum foil is nice and tight, and then just poke it right in the middle. Okay. So you've got your two holes: the one you're going to look through, the one the sun is going to shine through. And then on the inside of the box, since the inside of the box is brown, uh, I've taped a white piece of paper. This is where the image of the sun is going to be projected onto. So you want to have a nice white background. So I just taped a white piece of paper on there. And um, what else? So just need to close it up now. So pardon me while I put some tape on here because you have to make sure that it's closed up really well so that you don't have any other stray light coming in. You want it to be as dark as possible inside the box. I'm doing this fast so there might be a little stray light but do it before the eclipse and you can actually go out and practice and um, you can see where there's any any holes where the light might be coming in. Okay, so now let's go try it out. Got it taped up. I just threw some tape on there really quick. So we're walking out to the sun. So once you're in the sunlight, um, just find where the sun is. The sun's behind me. So I'm going to try putting the camera in the hole. Let me find it with my eye first. Okay, so, okay, there it is. It's almost straight overhead. So, oh, there it is. Can you see that? So, there it is. And so, once the eclipse goes, you'll be able to see the shape of the, the solar eclipse as uh, the moon takes bites out of the sun. You'll be able to see that in your little dot inside your eclipse viewer. So the way you do it when you're looking at it, if I can do this with one hand. So this is gonna be the hole that you're gonna look through. And then this is the, the where the sun is gonna shine through. So you need to aim this to where the sun is directly behind you. So the sun is gonna shine in that hole onto that white piece of paper at the other end of the box and then you're gonna look through this corner. Now I use my left eye, uh, so I've put my sun on that side and the eye on this side. So if you're right eyed, you might wanna do it the other way around or just flip over the box like that. And then you can use your right eye and the sun will shine in over here. There you go. Pretty easy, just uh, made out of stuff that you have around your house. A box, some tape, and a piece of aluminum foil, and a needle. Solar Eclipse Viewer.